Hi guys, thank you so much for being here with me again and a huge welcome to those of you who are new. So today's video is about to deliver you an explanation for why your person, your love interest is not talking to you right now. So why is there a situation of no contact or even just minimal contact? And then we're going to see if your person is intended to do a move towards you. So what is your person intended to do next? So in order to make your choice, we have four piles here. We have pile number one with the rider weight and the celestite crystal on top of it and the ocean jasper at the bottom pile number two with the crystal unicorn tarot deck the amethyst and the fluoride then pile number three with the spirit song tarot deck the appetite crystal and the new jade at the bottom and pile number four with the yevelyn tarot the unknown stone and the pink tourmaline at the bottom so you can either focus on the small crystal or the big crystals or the cards whichever you feel more drawn to i would suggest you to try and not take too much time to make your choice otherwise your mind will start working rather than your intuition so uh, something that I like to do is to close my eyes, take a few deep breaths and picture the person that I have in mind. And then when I feel calm enough, I open my eyes and see whichever of these uh, crystals or deck my eyes are intuitively more drawn to. But if that doesn't work for you, you can also have a look at the timestamps in the info box below and see what of those numbers you feel more attracted to after um, imagining this person or another thing you can do is to try and flip uh, the top card of the decks and see whichever it feels more easy for you to flip. Or another thing you can do is to picture your face underneath one of these decks and see which of these decks has your face underneath and which it doesn't. So it's also a very good exercise for your intuition. So... Another thing I have to say is this is going to be a general reading, therefore may or may not resonate with all of you or even just a portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest, which is why it's important that you always follow your intuition while listening to this video, take what feels right and leave the rest and try not get too attached to the result of the reading. If it hasn't resonated whatsoever, I would suggest to go back here to the intro and make your choice again between these piles, making sure that you feel really calm by doing so if you feel that yes it has resonated but you would love to receive more details about your specific situation then feel free to uh, contact me for a private reading and there's all the infos instructions in the info box below if you're interested to get any of these decks there's also the affiliate amazon links in the info box below and which are not gonna um ask you any extra but at the same time you can freely help the channel by choosing to buy the decks from those links instead of others so it's your choice and i feel that's it for now guys so i'm gonna see you at the beginning of your reading hi pal number one if you chose the celestite and the ocean jasper this is the reading for you so i'm just gonna keep the ocean jasper there and take the big one away i already draw some oracle cards for you from the monology and the romance angel cards but i haven't had a look at, at those yet and there's also a hidden message from your person like a little letter for you so this is the first thing we're gonna read and it says i'm very sorry for all the pain that i've caused you i was inexperienced and immature and at the time i didn't fully comprehend how lucky i was to have you in my life wish you can forgive me and give us another chance so i'm gonna show it to you closer just in case you wanna have a look at it again by yourself and pause the video here Although I'm not sure if you'll be able to read my readings, but you can let me know. And so let's have a look at the Monology card. It says, Conclusions are within reach. Interesting, with the full moon eclipse. Just going to check if you can see everything. Yes. Then we have, Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And getting to know each other as as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I'm going to read again this message we got here. So this person feel quite guilty about how they treated you in the past. Although they justified by their age. 
or lack of experience. So now they're realizing how lucky they would have been to be around you and how silly would it be to let you go. So they're really hoping for another chance. Okay, so that's how they are feeling. And there is interest from this person to get to know each other even better. So it could be that in the past you might have shown some interest towards this person. Um, it could be that there was some flirt, that there was something going on, but you never really had the chance, the opportunities to get to know each other very deeply and to have some um, deeper experience of connection within this person. It could be that it just stayed on a very light um, level, like quite superficial uh, knowledge of each other. So um, this person is definitely realizing how silly it was to not fully comprehend how special you are. And I feel that now that they're realizing they are actually having this feeling of getting to know you, it could be though that they know that in order to do that, they first need to love themselves here with this love yourself card. Although with this conclusion are within which it seems that this person is actually Yes, taking some time to love themselves first and prepare themselves and feeling ready um, because as we saw, there was a, lot, a lack of experience here and immaturity. So it could be that this person still doesn't have so much experience. And in order to start a new relationship, a new deep connection, this person has realized that there is a lot of things that they need to fix about themselves, um, especially regarding loving themselves. Because how can we embrace love from other people if we don't love each other first uh, but with these conclusions are within reach it seems that this person actually knows that they already have been doing the majority of the work and that could be why they are silent they're not talking to you right now because they need this space to retreat themselves and prepare themselves but they are saying here with the conclusions are within which that it, I have the feeling that it's not gonna last too long like a full moon eclipse it never lasts too long uh, it could be a few minutes um, so I'd say that this person yes is taking a little break to fully uh, get in touch with themselves and, and prepare themselves but I feel that there is a lot of desires for this connection to actually go somewhere so I'm gonna place this on the side and have a look at the tarot to go more in depth in this situation so let's go more in depth by asking why this person not contacting you right now what are the reasons We're going to accept reverse cards as well, as usual. So why is your person not talking to you, pile number one, with the Ocean Jasper? Okay, we have two cards here. A page of cups in reverse and a page of pentacles of pride. Reason why this person is not talking to you. Knight of Cups in reverse, the Sun in reverse, the Tower in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it is clear that there is a bit of contradicting energy within this person. I'm just going to show you the cards a bit closer. There she work. Okay, so. They are definitely refraining themselves from um, offering from yeah from offering a, a romantic gesture here with the page of cups in reverse. It, it, it seems that this person actually have the idea of doing something towards you, um, showing you their feelings, showing you their vulnerability, and this is also the card of apology. Uh, but for some reason, it could be that they're still not fully ready they are um, resistance a bit 
this moment although we have the page of pentacles so um it definitely clarifies me that this person wants to start something important with you uh they feel definitely younger or immature or experienced being a page and it could also be that they don't have huge abilities in communicating their own feelings or being in touch with their own feelings even but with this page of pentacles i sense this person actually have a good intention towards you um although it's a new journey for them committing to somebody or like starting a new relationship it's something new for them or that they have little experience about it so that could be why they are not talking to you right now because yes they have the intention to start something long term something um to be somebody that you can trust eventually in the future somebody reliable because they're definitely grounded uh, being the pentacle suit so pentacle suit is usually uh, any car court cards of the pentacle suit somebody that yes is working slowly but you can definitely trust them you can trust their intention and they're very reliable so whenever they say they're gonna do something they are gonna do something so um this could be virgo virgo taurus capricorn as well but then we also have water here so pisces scorpio and a uh, cancer and there's a lot of caps as well although i wouldn't focus too much on the signs because we have all the signs in our charts so it's not only our sun sign that is important but also our moon sign and uh, rising sign and all the others so but there could be a uh, um, important presence of water elements in the chart of this person hmm again we have the knight of cups in reverse so i feel that this person is actually trying to uh, go towards the next step passing from the page of cups to the knight of cups understanding their feelings and working on their ability of, of communicating their feeling and thinking about a love offer thinking about a gesture i sense though that here with the sun in reverse they don't feel confident enough and they are not fully ready to have your full attention or to be at the center of your attention um also the sun talk about a relationship and since there is a kid there i sense that they feel quite immature in the relationship field in general and that could be quite of a challenge for them um it's just to me is really talking about shyness and feeling like um not fully ready to show their light to somebody else could also be that they're not very used to have somebody looking at them intimately like learning everything about them and it could be something that it kind of intimidate them a little bit but then we have this tower moment in reverse okay so it's telling me that they are resisting this tower moment which tower moment talk about um destroying every um solar foundation that they created in the past which protected them uh, from getting hurt um so i feel that they are resisting to destroy this tower um pro of protection because they are scared that they will have to start again from zero so i sense that they are um they want this new beginning in love and romance but at the same time they know that in order to do that they have to let go of certain parts of themselves which uh, should belong to the past by now so i feel that they know that if they decide to actually become more serious regarding love in general they have to abandon this part of themselves which is still immature regarding and having immature beliefs regarding love and yeah there's definitely a part of them that they will have to let go uh, especially this part that makes them very defensive and or having toxic thoughts and beliefs about themselves um since it comes out here that this person might be a little shy or 
having a hard time being at the center of attention of other people so they would definitely have to destroy all of those old toxic beliefs that are not serving them anymore which is gonna happen although it takes some time but it sounds that they are definitely working i mean wishing for this ace of cups there's a little resistance but i feel that they want this okay and we saw it from the letters as well that they want a new chance they want to get to know you better conclusions are within reach so this definitely talk about closing a chapter and it's quite of an important step but it takes courage okay because if especially you will have to start building up new beliefs and new um ways of um approaching love from and approaching life in general from that moment so it definitely takes courage um i feel though that there definitely there is definitely a journey towards maturity here from the page to the night and eventually to the ace of cups but this person has to go through some resistance for sure and this card that talks about loving yourself first where it is here makes so much sense because we saw here that with the sun in reverse there could be some lack of love as well lack of um confidence um about themselves so this is the reason why this person is not talking to you at the moment because there was a transformation going on there is a, a image immature side that they have to let go of um And there is a self-love that needs to be developed a lot more, okay? So let me see now what is this person intended to do next towards you. Death, transformation, four of swords. Justice in reverse, Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, and Three of Wands. So I definitely sense that this person, first of all, want to rest before stepping into something new. I want to take a, a break, um, a meditating and contemplating break. I'm sorry, you can't see. The other. Let me just widen here. Much better now so I was saying that this person need a meditative contemplating phase to be on their own I sense and not acting not taking any action to just being to just being able to allow these transformations of the soul within themselves okay which require the end of something that doesn't serve them anymore the death card and the tower are quite similar in that sense they're not negative cards whatsoever like it could be something definitely something major those are both major arcanas um something very important and valuable but and could be hard to go through uh, but then eventually they were just gonna bring good things here there is definitely a huge transformation within this person going on so that's the step that they want to do first after all after that they want to come out of their fantasy stop imagining stop having just fantasies about what could happen after they want to stop having confusion as well regarding what uh, what should they do? Um, what should they say? What should they offer? Um, what side of themselves they should show? It also, if you feel that this person is actually attracted to other people as well, it could be that this person finally want to choose between one of you and come out of that confusion or come out of that feeling like Like trying to hang out with all of you but not having just superficial um, connection. So I feel that this person wants to definitely come out of that. Because it doesn't feel right with this justice in reverse. It doesn't feel like balanced. It could be that this person is trying to give the same equal amount of attention to different people. But it doesn't seem to work because there's just it's just overwhelming to them. Um... So, 
I don't know if there has been an offer of polyamory or something like that, but this person is definitely realizing that they don't, if that's the case, they're realizing the ne their next step is realizing that probably they don't have enough time to share equal amount of attention to all of these people involved. But this could also simply be coming out of their dreamland and finally, uh, because it doesn't feel right, and finally make an action and fight for their wishes here we have the seven of ones which is finally deciding to go on this journey even though there's still some obstacles this person is like okay i can't wait forever staying in this meditative state forever once the transformation has happened i have to get out there and 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 you know fight for their beliefs, fight for their dreams, fight for their um, goals and achievements. So I feel that they don't perceive this journey as very easy, but I feel that they are going to finally reach enough amount of confidence and strength and direction as well, because definitely after the Seven of Cups in reverse, there's a lot more direction here sense of direction although with this three of wands it's telling me that there could be a distance between you two which represent an obstacle and it could be taking a while before you guys are able to reach that gap okay even though this person is determined determined i don't know how you say that um but even though this person will definitely show some interest and enthusiasm and it will be very driven there still be there's still gonna be these obstacles it will take some time before um yes getting closer to each other if you are at a physical distance or even at an emotional distance it will take a while to me it's, te it's telling that um it will be a, a bit slower than you think being the three of ones in reverse um so in general i would say that this person will eventually come out of this no contact situation will definitely fight for you uh but it will take a while okay it won't happen from um night day to night i don't know if you say it that way it won't happen from a day to another but definitely um Definitely it's a process that this person has to go through and we saw this person has to learn a lot about themselves uh, but definitely we saw here that their intention is to get to know you guys a lot better, that they would like to have another chance and they believe the conclusions are within reach so definitely it will happen, I feel that they know that is just a matter of time but they're getting closer and closer when we see here their next move yes there's still a first initial phase of um not much activity here but finally then they step into their logic again and they decide to finally come out of their confusion and find their direction and fight for it even though there is distance to them is still not an obstacle i feel it might just take a bit extra time but i feel that they want to um they want to fight this distance so um definitely then your attitude towards the situation is totally up to you whether you want to wait for this person or move on meantime um it's totally up to you although i would suggest you always not put your life on pause for somebody else especially if you don't see that uh, there is an imminent change um but clearly, I can see that there is hope within this connection. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know if it has resonated and uh, leave a comment in uh, the comment section down below if you want to let me know if it actually um, re reflected, mirrored your situation. And if you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video, which is going to happen every week every tuesday thursday and saturday so there's gonna be three videos per week two of them are gonna uh, 
go over some romantic topics in one of them is non-romantic videos so that's the announcement announcement that I had to give you although it would have been better to do it at the beginning um, but yes another thing that I wanted to say um, is that you can get all of these decks in the info box below if you're interested there's all the Amazon affiliate links if you're interested to get a private reading I'm available so you find all the prices and instructions there as well and for the rest I really hope you guys to stay safe and healthy and to see you very soon send you big hugs now bye bye Hi pile number two, if you chose the Amethyst on top of the Crystal Unicorn Tarot and the Fluoride, this is the reading for you. So, I've already drawn some Oracle cards for you, although I haven't seen, I haven't seen them already. So we're going, it's going to be a surprise for both of us and there's also going to be a love letter from your person. So first of all, let's have a look at the Moonology card and it says... A new start is coming with a new moon. That's great, you know. Then romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. Then I sense here that this person is actually ready for starting something new. Their, their feelings are real. Although there could be some issues of codependency. So that could be why they are also senses, sensing the need, feeling the need of starting something completely new. And letting go of the past. Letting go of the issues that you guys have had in the past. And give, your ch give yourself another chance if that was an issue in the past. Let me have a look at the letter as well. It says, I can safely say that no one before has ever made me feel so appreciated like you do. And for that, I'm so very grateful. You're allowing me to blossom into the best version of myself. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. That's really nice. So I definitely am very curious to see what the tarot cards say now about the reason why is your person not contacting you. Definitely this codependency could be the main issue. But also it could be that they are preparing themselves for this new beginning. Their feelings are real. They love being around you. And nobody make them feel as appreciated as you make them feel. And they feel that they are blossoming to their best version of themselves. Which is so nice. I'm just going to place this on the side. And that's the card. Why is your person not contacting you right now? We're going to accept reverse cards as well, as usual. Don't get scared on my right hand with this giant bandage, but it's okay. It's going to be all right. I just need to limit some movements. Or do them very gently. So let's see for pile number two. Why is your person not talking to you right now? Or why there is limited contact between you two? Okay, so we have the world in reverse. Let me check if you can see them. The Three of Cups in reverse. Hanged Unicorn upright. Eight of Swords in reverse. Ten of Pentacles upright. And the King of Swords. Okay. So these are the reasons why your person is not talking to you right now. Okay. Again, the world talk about closing an end, cl closing, I mean, closing a cycle, closing a past cycle and starting something new. Although there could be a little bit of resistance here from doing so. So definitely we still hear that their wish is to start uh, something new. A new start is coming. Uh, but there could be a little bit of resistance here. There's a three of cups in reverse. Okay. 
So it could be that some third party is not very happy about this new beginning, possibly. Um, but it could also be that they are... Hmm... When the Trio Cups is in upright, it talks about feeling joyful and having fun, going out for drinks, uh, partying as well, being surrounded by friends, or even just having a very kind of light connection with somebody else and not going too much in depth, kind of staying on the surface, just having no string attached, that sort of thing. But I sense here that since he's in reverse, this person is actually resisting that type of lifestyle where there are no strings attached or where uh, you guys keep going out and there's so many friends around you. So, um, they also talk about celebrations. So, it could be that you guys, if you are already in a relationship, this talk about feeling ready for the next step, which could be moving in or getting married because if there is celebration, but it could be that at the same time, this move scared them. Although they want to do it, it kind of scared them. And it could be that is because they know that they will have to do with lots of many other people surrounding them and maybe they are not the most social person. Uh, so they don't deal very well with parties or celebrations or socializing in social events in general or being at the center of the attention. So definitely a sense that this their wish to start something new with you. Although there could be some resistance as I said. Um, but I sense here that... We have the hand unicorn which actually talk about stepping back, withdrawing from the world and it would explain why they are not talking to you right now. So they are taking some time to think and understand what it is that is blocking them with this eight of swords. Um, so they know that it is, I feel that they are really um, self aware right now, they are really analyzing themselves and trying to understand why am I being so silly? Like, I love this person and I know that I want a new cycle with this person, so why would I block it? And so they are really spending time on their own to try and understand how could they free themselves from these mental traps, mental blocks, uh, old beliefs regarding themselves, which could be not very healthy. The good news, though, is that with this Eight of Swords in reverse, they're actually coming out of these mental traps, okay? So that's absolutely good news so they're not talking to you right now because they're thinking about how to approach this situation differently and free themselves from all those um triggers it could be that this new situation it triggers some old wounds as well and they're just analyzing them and trying to free really themselves and decide okay I'm a new person now I'm not the same person I was five ten years ago so I really don't need to be feeling triggered by this anymore this is what I want to do so I'm just gonna do it you represent their happiness here with this ten of pentacles like I feel that this person definitely want to commit 100% to you and they're probably already committing and this new beginning could just talk about their next level which again as i said could be moving in or buying a house together or um getting married even or starting a new family there is family here represented in the ten of pentacles as well and since is the pentacle suit is definitely talk about something very long term very stable uh stable financially uh, but also emotionally and so a uh, king of swords here we have this image of somebody that want to take lead of their life want to take control of their life and want to learn about how to properly express their own thoughts and feelings uh, although this person is definitely more logical than romantic so this person is trying to make order in their life in their thoughts and try not to be too emotional um let me see.
I sense that yes, the only reason why they're not talking to you right now is because they are definitely analyzing the whole situation. Uh, what is it that they want from you and what type of person they want to be for you and uh, so I feel that it, this is all about uh, forming that maturity and preparing themselves to the idea that they're gonna be a father this could also be and also we have a tree here which could talk about have celebrating the new birth celebrating a new person within the family so it could be that uh, this new beginning could talk also about having a baby or something so um, or adopting so it could be that they are just needing the time to figure out what's going to be their position and if this is truly what they want to and what is it that is blocking them because they realize that there was something blocking them and they didn't understand why since it, this is everything they ever wished for okay so there's just a little bit of temporary fear or temporary need to step back and analyze themselves but it's all good i sense here so let's have a look at this person next move towards you What's your person next move? What they're intended to do next? File number two. For the ones, oh my god. Hi, Priestess. Ten of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Judgment in reverse and four cups of pride. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. So their next move, it could be that here they are asking advice to somebody that they trust, somebody that could be a counselor, psychotherapist, a dear friend, their mom, um, somebody that they definitely value their opinion, somebody that is quite connected to the spiritual world as well or connected to their own intuition um somebody that is able to dwell very well between this duality of white and black so somebody that would allow them to see the bo both positive and negative sides or allow them to make um a good choice and i feel that they're really asking advice it could also be a friend uh, regarding this celebration again moving in together uh, buying a house together but definitely creating stability with the four of wands and it could also be that they're having a very deep conversation with you uh, regarding what has what they have been hitting in their subconscious uh what is it that was blocking them so i feel that there's gonna be some important conversation here then we have ten of swords and ace of pentacles so uh what you're gonna do is to finally have a closure with their past life with their a cycle of their life that it needed to be over and we saw it here with the world and the new beginning and the ten of swords all of these three cards talk about something new and ending something that doesn't serve them anymore so i feel that this is gonna be their next step so it could also be divorced with somebody that they have been together before um because this finally would allow a wedding to happen and so but it sounds that even though there's gonna be this end then the new beginning with the ace of pentacles is still granted i feel because it's very solid the ace of pentacles but it is gonna be delayed because it's in reverse so it could be that yes maybe they're gonna do their move of asking for the divorce signs um signature but from that moment to actually start uh, this beginning like which could be as i said a wedding or um 
whatever other plan that you guys have to go to the next level is going to take a while. So, but I see that there's going to be progression now, okay? We have the judgment in reverse and the four of cups of pride, which to me talk about the fact that in the future, it's possible that this person is going to feel like confused about the bigger picture, uh, but also confused about the past and not fully able to understand why whatever happened in the past happened and also I sense that it's gonna leave them some wounds because with this four of cups in reverse there is a negative attitude towards feeling emotionally fulfilled and being able to love themselves and feeling worthy of this luck okay so I sense that definitely this could also be why they felt this resistance they were creating those resisting thoughts maybe because they deep within themselves they felt unworthy of this new life for themselves and unworthy of this happiness that they've always been dreaming of so it's definitely a process of, of course in, it's not like a direct line um but and there is a little bit delay here, but I sense that this person just need to go through their own wounds, which all of us have, of course. So I'm just going to get another couple of cards for their next actions. Oh, that's good. Ten of Wands in reverse and death in reverse is definitely uh, freeing themselves from a burden here, which that is definitely associated to the past. Okay, so it could be that in the past, lots of things has happened which has created a burden on the shoulder of this person, and that could be why they felt a bit unworthy. So they could, this could be something associated to their childhood, even something very far away in the past, which has blocked their transformation process. Uh, but I feel that they're finally gonna liberate themselves so it is a process but i we all saw before that their feelings are definitely real with this romantic feelings card they definitely are looking forward for this new beginning and then look i actually forgot about this codependency card so this could be the issue that they had in the past which create all of this resistance maybe they are scared that once they create something so solid with somebody else they will feel dependent from this person and that their happiness will be dependent from you so if something will happen they could be scared that they're gonna feel completely lost in life and that could be why was there a tower here no, uh, but that could be one of those triggers that they had here, uh, one of the things that they were meditating about. Uh, could be that in the past this person was very dependent or that the other person was very addicted to them as well. Uh, but it's good news that with this Ten of Swords, this is definitely going to be something part of the past, something completely over. Uh, but still there's a lot of reflection going on and that will allow them at some point to be able to free themselves from all those burdens okay so it could be that this person had some unhealthy relationship in the past and that could be why they had a little bit of resistance towards this new beginning but we saw here that they feel so appreciated from you they feel so grateful to be uh, to have you in their life and they feel like you are allowing them to blossom in their best version of themselves um, So that's absolutely beautiful. It could be that you're definitely You're so meant to be in their life because otherwise they would be stuck in this energy of not feeling worthy instead you're convincing them of the opposite which is so nice so let me know guys if the reading has resonated with you in the comments below would love to see your comments and answer to each one of you as soon as you can and if you enjoy the content of this video don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video which is going to happen every tuesday thursday and saturday so what else? Feel free to um, check out 
the uh, Amazon affiliate link for the DAX if you're interested to buy them. And also feel free to contact me for a private reading if you need. There's also the prices and instructions in the info box below. And that's really it for now, guys. I really wish you to stay safe and healthy. And I really hope to see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye bye now. Hi guys, if you chose file number 3 with the Appetite, the Spirit and Tarot and the New Jade, this is the reading for you. So I'm just going to keep the New Jade for your reference and take the big crystals away. So I've already drawn a few cards for you, although we are going to shuffle the cards in camera today. Uh, but I did this before, although I haven't had a look, so it's going to be a surprise for both of us. <clears throat> There's also a hidden letter from your person. So let's have a look first at the monology. We have surrender to the divine with the full moon. That's quite a nice message. Let me see if you can see properly. Then we have from the Roman Elder cards, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation, okay? And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And then let me see their message. I've never felt as loved as you make me feel. But I'm honestly not used to it and I'm afraid that I'll end up hurting you. You're such a pure soul and I would hate myself if I accidentally contaminate you. Oh, that's a bit sad. So... But there's no, it doesn't mean that it will never work. I'm just sensing that this person is very unused to be loved like that. It probably never had an experience before. So there's still a bit of work to do in order to finally allow love into their life. I'm just going to show you the message to you closer uh, in case you want to read it again by yourself. So you can pause the video here. I hope you can understand my reading. So let's go back to our oracle cards. <clears throat> I don't find I don't think that from this message it means that this person is completely giving up entirely. They're just scared that, that, that they will end up hurting you. So this could be why they're stepping back and they are not counted to you right now. Um, they're just really, really concerned that they will do something bad to you accidentally just because they're not very used to um, to be loved in general. But you see, with this surrender to the divine, I feel that they are really, and also with keep an open mind, I feel that they are really saying, look, whatever has to happen will happen. I won't force anything, but... Um, I'm also not denying anything, okay? So it is a quite a positive attitude, this one. So I sense that for the majority, they are deciding to still keep the chance open, the chances open between you two, in case uh, there's going to be a reconciliation. <clears throat> But at the same time, I feel that like they're not going to be too proactive. So they're going to let the universe do its own thing. Because they are afraid that if they are going to be proactive, then they might mess it up and do something wrong. So I feel that they're really saying if this connection is destined to be, it will happen in eventually. So I want... I really don't have to do anything and I don't have to be worried about my action. So since they are so afraid to do the wrong thing, I feel that they really surrender to universe, okay? But still with this keeping up in mind and reconciliation, I feel that they are wishing for you guys to reconcile. Um, <clears throat> and that reconciliation doesn't necessarily mean that you've been apart, separated or that you were together in the past. Um, that could also simply be the reconciliation of your souls. It could be that you have met this person in a past life as well and that you were just destined to meet up again in this life and teach each other important lessons. So um, I feel that that's what they are saying to you. If she or he is my soulmate, we will reconcile no matter what. Um, no matter how... 
no matter my actions my thoughts it's just gonna happen because it's up to universe it's it's up to the divine okay but it, it they are scared that their words their action are gonna hurt you so i sense that they for now are not doing anything but let's ask the cards to go more in depth into your situation my right hand is still hurting a little bit so that's why you're gonna you see it with the bandage but don't worry i just need to be a bit gentle with it but it's gonna be fine So pile number three, why is your person not talking to you right now? Shaman in reverse, seems a bit dark, I mean too light. The star, okay. And then we have, sorry about my squeaky chair, I don't know what to do about it. Tree of shells, justice in reverse. Queen of Crystals in reverse and Tree of Acorns. Okay, so let's go gradually. This is going to be the why, and then we're going to see as well what they are intended to do next after this first part. Okay, let me check if you can see everything. I think so. So we have here resistance from commitment. It's, it's like they are really not ready for this emotional commitment although i feel that they do care about you they do like you um uh, what it, where is the love message i've never felt as loved as you make me feel but i'm honestly not used to it so it really makes sense that there is a resistance with the shaman in reverse regarding a long-term commitment here although it's what they wish with the star it's what they hope okay and it's what they know that they will make them it will bring peace within their life and it would bring harmony i feel that they know that that's what has been missing in their life but for some reason they're really blocking themselves from having it from treating themselves to this type of happiness uh because of fear of hurting definitely as we saw in the message we have three of shells and the justice in reverse so here they i sense that there is an injustice that they are perceiving and it could be regarding a third parties here or from your side or from their side if you don't think that that's what it is if you don't have any um proof that that's actually the situation I wouldn't start thinking so just because I say that okay so only if this resonates then take it um, take the message but otherwise I uh, I wouldn't put in your head thoughts that you never had before basically but it could be that there is some lack of clarity yes as well like not really telling you the truth regarding a third party situation um, it could also be like that they feel if you are surrounded by other people that really like you um, that they are showing interest towards you it could be that they don't find this very fair or they are unable to show you their um, <clears throat> feelings they're enabled to show you their jealousy uh, or to tell you that they don't think that this is fair um, so it could also be to create a lot of confusion whenever you're surrounded by other people it creates a lot of confusion within themselves and it would make sense actually because if they feel if they appreciate your love but at the same time they block themselves from um reciprocated because of this fear of hurting you then it would really make sense that when they see you with other people and they feel jealous they're like asking to themselves oh, would you please find some clarity a moment you don't want this and another moment you want this so can you please like talking to themselves like understand what is it that you want in your life so it could be that they're just having a bit of confusion right now uh, regarding what is it that they truly want because they see the blocks but they also know that being with you it would be their wish 
okay this could also be with the true shots that they realize that it's very nice to be around you you make them feel happy um but it's but the energy is very playful because they can't fully commit right now so this could be talking about a very light type of relationship like hanging out but not being too serious not having string attached uh being friends with benefits for example and they know that this is not right this is not fair towards you or even towards them so that could be why they're not talking right now because they can see that all they can give you right now is a non-committed situation but they don't find it right towards you and at the same time they are not really sure that that's what they want i feel that they would be actually hoping to have something deeper uh but that they can't right now we have then the queen of crystals in reverse which again is like um being unable to receive that support, being unable to receive that comfort, like somebody taking care of you, somebody providing for you, somebody offering you prosperity or enjoying life together with you or uh, not being able to embrace somebody in their life, which is going to be like a um, <clears throat> constant presence with the Queen of Crystal because Crystal is like the pentacles and they're very loyal, trustworthy, reliable, and they they are very committed to their journey as well. So again, this could talk about lack of being able to commit to a woman, or anyway, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman just because it's a queen, uh, but yes, being unable to commit to that type of journey of taking care of each other, although it is not their last word because we have the trio of acorns which actually is projecting their dreams towards the future they are looking above uh, the giraffe is one of the tallest animal which has the benefit of being able to see much further away right so they have a bit of um um ability to predict what's coming next and i feel that this person is actually trying to peep outside of the bush to find out what is it that is possible to happen in the future they're like projecting themselves in the future imagining making plans so i sense that if they are saying maybe it's not possible to happen right now but it could be a possibility for the future because they are looking at the future and this could simply be a delay okay um because there is reconciliation here so i feel that they are wishing for reconciliation although uh and they i think that they're wishing for you as well to keep an open mind and they're probably just letting things to the universe as i said so hoping that eventually at some point life will reunite you even though this maybe won't happen straight away won't happen now but if your connection is not working out right now i feel that they are wishing for life to reunite you in the future so i'm just gonna move this here and ask now what's gonna happen next what's gonna be their next move or their next attitude towards this situation if they're gonna reach out to you ball number three with the new jade please and thank you what is gonna be this person next move there was a ten of shells there <clears throat> a pride by the way so it's good news actually. Let me see what else. Shadow, which is the devil, king of feathers in reverse, seven of acorns, upright, queen of feathers in reverse. I hope you can see everything. Temperance and ten of acorns. I really like the last two cards. So let's start we have definitely something bothering this person with the shadow and the king of feathers in reverse 
I feel that they, in the next phase, they're going to deal with the shadow of their own soul. They're going to deal with the toxic thoughts that they have about themselves, with the misbeliefs uh, about themselves. And with their own lack of confidence as well, with their own lack of uh, taking the lead of their own life. Because if they want to surrender everything to the universe and expecting that, um, it is a good attitude to just believe that if it has to happen, it will happen. But at the same time, they're giving a bit too much their power away because there's still the willpower, there's still the your own personal will that can... You still have the power to make choices that they can change the future. Um, maybe not in the big picture, but in the small um, in the small scale for sure. So I feel that they're really dealing with this mm, with themselves. They're really they're really focusing the light on themselves entirely here and on what is right for them, what what plan would be the right one for the future as well and why can't they why can't they um, take the lead of their own life right now? What is it that is blocking them? And there is definitely lots of um darkness here from the devil which talk about sorry it's a bit too dark now isn't it? Talk about sometimes addiction but negative thoughts as well and negative attitudes towards life um being part of toxic relationship as well so i feel that this person is definitely dealing with um with this side of themselves but also it could be that they are dealing with another male figure um, which could be their father, somebody in their family, it could be even this third party situation if you have another person showing interest towards you. And I feel it's not going to, if it's regarding another person, it's not going to be very pretty because it's going to be some harsh words coming out. Um, so let me see what else. We have the Seven of Acorns and the Queen of Feathers in reverse. So that's a nice, that's a couple, Queen of Feathers and King of Feathers, although it could be that they are still not able to fully uh, express their thoughts and fully be truthful towards each other. Um, so yes, this is also lack of not being fully able to communicate to you. Um, but here with the Seven of Acorns, there is fighting, there is going after the obstacles, there is finally... Yes, running after the dreams and finding a direction, finding a reason to be passionate, finding that stamina that you need uh, to reach your goals. So I sense that this person at some point is actually going to make some moves. And Queen of Feathers in Reverse... This could also be uh, you, because it could be that in the future you might just give them your back or just kind of rejecting them and cutting them off your life because you needed something that would happen straight away or maybe because they hurted you um, a bit or simply because you were very confused about their own behavior. So it could be that this person is actually going to chase you uh, while you are trying to run away. That's what I'm sensing here. Maybe for some time they don't do anything because they are stuck in this dark energy and they don't feel brave enough because the lion also talk about feeling brave. But since it's in reverse, we talk about feeling very sheepish. So it could be that for some time they don't really deal with their own shadow and with the reason why they feel so resistant towards commitment. But in the future, as soon as you leave, as soon as you decide to fly away and they are realizing how important you are to them. But the beautiful things that I have here is the tempers and the ten of acorns, which talk about freeing himself or herself from huge burdens from the past and also 
with the temperance finding peace and harmony and healing within this connection so i feel that this person definitely is not ready right now for love but i feel that there is potentiality for the future and that they are at some point realizing First of all, how much they need to work on their own confidence, their own plans, their own goals in life, their own wishes with their own dark shadow as well from the past and at the same time you're going to realize how important you are as soon as you decide to run away unfortunately lots of people work that way they need to lose you before they understand how much you mean to them but i sense that in the end there's going to be reconciliation with this temperance and there is reconciliation here as well from the beginning uh so definitely uh, this could also be a nice suggestion to you to run to the divine and keep an open mind because reconciliation will happen whenever is the right time. Okay, so that was the reading for you guys today. Let me know in the comments below if it has resonated. I would love to hear your opinion and I will try to answer to each one of you as soon as I can. And if you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It would truly mean the world. And also you can hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that I publish a new video, which is going to be every week, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So remember that the time might change but the days are going to be fixed so expect that three times per week two videos are going to be romantic and one of out of three is going to be non-romantic topic and feel free as always to contact me for a private reading if you need there's all the infos and prices and instructions in the info box below and if you're interested to get this deck or the oracle car uh, cards that i got you can find the amazon affiliate link in the info box below as well which is gonna also help the channel a tiny little bit if you decide to buy them from there with any extra cost. And that's really it for now, guys. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you to stay safe and healthy. So take care of yourself. Bye bye and big hugs to you now. Hi, guys, if you chose file number four with your known stone and the pink tourmaline, this is the reading for you. So, I've been already drawing some oracle cards, although we are going to shuffle the cards together in camera. Although my hands is ba band aid, I don't know how you say that, but it's still fine as long as I'm delicate with it. So, we have I haven't seen them before, so it's going to be a surprise for me as well. We have a new romantic cycle begins with the new moon in Libra. Very nice. Just let me check if you can see properly. And then we have, whoa, engagement and playfulness here. So this say, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And here we have, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Wow, and both of these cards actually say the same. A new romantic cycle begins. So let me see what is your letter. I really wish I could give you some certain answer, but too many things are unsettled in my life right now, and I have to figure those out first. It would be selfish to ask you to wait for me, but I hope our paths will cross again. All right. So again, we also had a similar thing in pile number three with the person not being fully ready in the present moment. Although it's just because there's something going on in their life and it's not because they do not care about you. Actually, with this engagement card, a new romance cycle begins. I feel that like this is what they are wishing. Although at the present moment they have to, all they could give you is like some um, string, not like a relationship with no string attached or being very friendly, flirty, playful, but still not being able to give you something serious right now. Although I feel that they do wish that a new cycle will happen in the future and that you will be able to go towards the next phase of commitment. But first they have to figure out certain important things in their life. So of course they would feel guilty at asking you to wait for them, but I feel that this is what they would actually wish for you to wait. 
Mm, let me see. Let's go more in depth with the tarot cards and then we will understand the situation a lot better. So we're going to ask, first of all, why is your person not talking to you right now? And then after the first part, the second one will be dedicated to find out uh, what's going to be your person's next move or next attitude. If he's going to reach out or she's going to reach out and and so let's go first with the why we're gonna accept for, um reverse cards as well as usual why is your person not talking to you right now or is it minimal contact we have Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, Queen of Wands in reverse, the Universe, which is like the world, Six of Cups in reverse, and Five of Pentacles. So this is going to be where we begin. It's going to be the first part regarding the why okay we have definitely here seven of swords we have somebody running away sneaking away at night although with a bit of a burden on their shoulder this sometimes is also considered a theft uh the thief mm. But it's often like deciding to move away from a situation that doesn't serve them. Uh, although with some conflicts uh, within their heart, like the, with some regrets as well. And with this page of swords, okay, first of all, I notice that this person might be a little younger than you, but um, more immature. I wish I could make it brighter. Let me, let me see if I can actually. They're a bit better, so... They might be a little younger than you or an experience in love matters and it could be that the problem as well um, but I feel they are they are dealing with the situation with head over heart head over heart sorry my pronunciation so which means they're trying and being logical regarding this okay rather than fully following their heart so which makes sense and would explain the contradiction in the cards that we saw because they were talking about a new romantic cycle but the letters were, was actually saying that they need to figure out certain other things. We have the Queen of Wands here and the the world to me is kind of telling you, telling me that you means absolutely the world to them with this unique uni universe card and it could also be that they are putting you on a pedestal they think very highly of you and but they want to protect you okay and i feel that they are trying to resist you they're trying to push away their thoughts of you because you are completely at the center of their thoughts so i have the impression that they are deciding to catch you temporarily from their life right now to walk away from you because you were occupying so much of their own heart space and head space as well because you were very important to them okay although uh, for some reason they have to they have to figure out other things it would occupy much more space and time as well so that's why they are trying to distract themselves from the thought of you that's why the queen of wands in reverse and but it doesn't make them feel very happy here because six of cups is clearly like uh, nostalgia from not being able to be with you and feeling also like regret of uh, not fully nourishing the soulmate connection and uh, not being there for you and they miss you here with the five of pentacles they f uh, it could be that they regret like leaving you and in out in the cold feeling abandoned so this doesn't make them feel happy whatsoever but they, it doesn't make them feel happy and I could see them from here as well with the Seven of Swords like needing to walk away because it's the right decision, it's the most logical thing to do and or at least this is what they think right now but 
giving you their back doesn't it doesn't really sit well with their heart but I feel that that's why you simply are occupying too much space in their world and not because you did anything wrong not because you were like don't think of that they actually think so highly of you it's just a they they would be overwhelmed or they know that they would hurt you because if they have to give some time and energy to other situation or to fix their own personal life problems they would neglect you and they don't want you to feel that way okay but i hope our paths will cross again you see and i feel that they're really hoping for you guys to be able to be together in the future although right now they have to uh, set you aside for now so let me see what's gonna be your person move um next move or if they're gonna reach out or what's gonna be their next attitude towards this situation So this is the present situation basically the reason why they're not talking to you now you're gonna see what's the near future attitude okay six of swords is that a two or ten 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 of swords nine of wands three of pentacles and we need some extra space here for an ace of wands in reverse and a king of cups in reverse okay what i'm sensing is that the next attitude for this person is to actually regret to have moved away from you and regret to have ended this connection um so out of nowhere as well and so cold-heartedly and creating so much pain not only in you but also within themselves as well so i feel that this regret there is regret or if they haven't done it yet there is resistance from doing it they're just realizing i can't move away from this person it will hurt me too much it will hurt me too badly so uh, there could be two groups here one of you that they already have cl closed uh, this connection with you and the other one that they haven't done it although that there is distance between you two and they in the next move they're simply gonna realize that it would be too hard and too painful to let go of you and move on okay we have nine of wands and the three of pentacles so i feel that if they are have already closed with you um if they've already ended this connection with you then apart from feeling absolutely heartbroken there they are feeling as well defensive defensive from starting something new defensive from starting a new partnership very very close in their heart space um because they know that they created some hurt in the past in themselves and in other people and they don't want that to repeat so i feel that there is a bit of um resistance there and sabotaging any other new connection because of their old wounds coming up to surface uh for the people that instead uh for the situation where this person is still in your life just with limited contact or there is some emotional distance but they haven't ended with you um then i would say that this person is just finally realizing that they have some old wounds to fix uh, or it could also be that they have some um, home environment which is giving them so much trouble and making them feel so broken as well and so busy and tired okay this could all be all members of their family of all the all the responsibilities that they had all the fights that they have to go through for their family or friends or whatever it is that they're busy with and but uh, but um that even though there is going to be this awareness 
of being quite defensive to start something new they're still thinking of you they're still thinking of this possibility to start something new okay so it really depends from which group you belong to whether they have already ended or not if they didn't i feel that they don't want to do it and that they are trying to find a balance between okay i'm really busy i'm really tired really stressed out this thing is really bre breaking me whatever thing that they have to fix in their life or figure out in their life but i can't let go of you and the thought that we work so nicely together um but I sense it here with this Ace of Wands and King of Cups. It could be the day at the end are going to make an offer for the future. So they're telling you, look, I'm really, really excited about a new beginning with you, which is going to be not only romantic, but passionate as well. Although it needs to be delayed. It needs to happen a bit later on in the future because I'm not fully ready. I'm still quite... Um, how do you say how do you say when yeah like tired from whatever whatever fight they have to be going through um there's another word but i can't really find it like so i feel that they're telling you they will be telling you i will need a bit of extra time but i realize that i can't I can't really let go of you, so I want to offer you my heart, I want to be having an emotional uh, connection with you, I want to keep nourishing that, I want to be honest with you and have a mature relationship with you, but in the future, not right now, because right now they wouldn't have the energy and they wouldn't have, their heart wouldn't be 100% open, okay, um, or they wouldn't be fully ready for that, fully mature, so this is a experience that they have to go through, okay, uh, even though, as we saw here, they're, they, they're not really happy to set you aside, but it's something that they really have to do, okay, so we need to trust that, what else we had here? engagement and the king of cups is all for engagement absolutely a new romantic cycle begin with the ace of wands which talk all about new beginnings so i feel that there is potentiality for this situation although it needs a lot of patience so maybe this playfulness could also be a good advice for you right now to take things light-heartedly to try and not being too emotionally involved because this person can't give you that right now but there you guys are bonded there is no doubt here there is a huge bond between you two and and i feel that they they can just they can't deny it And even for the people that uh, if this person has ended with you, there is regret and there, there is going to be regret and there is going to be uh, thinking whether they did the right thing or not. And they're, they're going to be actually affected uh, from, that connect, from that situation as well, not just you. You're not going to be the only one hurt, but even them because they know that they have lost a, an important opportunity there but um even then i sense that they would try and come back up again although there could be some fear of being rejected as well be with this in reverse or they and therefore they could take some extra time before actually doing it and feeling ready for offering you to reconcile again or offering you to go to the next level of engagement it might take a while but yeah that's all i have for you here guys let me know in the comments below if it has resonated i would love to hear from you and i will try and answer to each one of your comments as soon as i can don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet 
if you uh, if you enjoy the content of this video of course it would truly mean the world to me and hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified anytime that i publish a new video which is gonna happen every tuesday thursday and saturday so that's the big announcement which i would have been a lot more clever to do it at the beginning but i completely forgot <laughs> anyway i am gonna write it down i'm gonna tell you again in any, any other video so be prepared for lots of new videos coming up if you feel the need of a private reading contact me in the info box below there's all the prices and the instructions and if you feel attracted from these decks you can find the affiliate amazon link in the info box below as well so you can get them from there and it will also help the channel a little bit without any of extra cost for you so that's everything for now guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys really soon take care of yourselves so i really hope you stay safe and healthy in these weird times and that's it guys i really uh hope to see you soon bye bye now guys